How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today in this video, we're going to go over five reasons why you need to get Windows 10. Oh my gosh, Windows 10 is amazing and it is the operating system that we have been waiting for for a long time. And let me tell you why. So here's the first reason. So that stupid uh, start page that used to come up in Windows 8 is gone. So on a Windows 8 computer, when you turned it on, there was that big page with all those tiles and you had to figure out how to get to the desktop because no one used that stupid tile page. Well, it's gone. Uh, when you turn the computer on, this is the first page that you see. And um, basically, things look like they used to look in Windows 7, but a little upgraded. So that's going to be your first main reason. It's simplified. They've gone back to the traditional Windows look. Um, which makes navigating just so much easier. So that's number one. Here's number two. They brought back dun, 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 the start menu. That's right. When you come down to the bottom left corner and click on the start button, which is right there, it actually brings up the start menu. Now, as you notice, it looks a lot different now. Uh, we have tiles on the right. On the left, we do have uh, favorite programs or most used. And then all the way at the bottom here, if we go to all apps, you can see every program on the computer. It, you know, I'm I'm just so excited about this, and it's in alphabetical order. It just everything is simplified back to the way that it used to be with Windows 7. Like I love Windows 7 so freaking much. And when 8 came out, I was so excited, and then I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is all this stuff? So things are just back to normal, but with a, a facelift. So they look better. We've got these cool tiles here, which are shortcuts again to like games and like things we use the most, like your mail, uh, internet, uh, a lot of cool things. So um, that's number two, second reason why you need to get Windows 10. Now here's the third reason. So um, the search box. So uh, on Windows 8, you had to like come to like the upper right corner and you had to like, like do this special motion and that's how you brought up the search. Well, they just simplified it. They brought search right down to the bottom here, which literally literally allows you to search the computer for your files, or you can search the internet at the same time. So if I were to type in, um, let's see, I'm just gonna type in Best Buy, okay? Let's see what comes up. Type in Best Buy, guess what? Um, I can search the web. Again, this is like searching Google, but without having to go to the internet, it's just right here. And we can go web or we can search through our stuff. So if you're trying to search for a file, you're going to hit uh, my stuff. And if you're trying to search the internet, hey, go to web and it's going to do a web search for you. So let's just do it really fast here. Web search. And there it is. And it's brought up bestbuy.com. So I love that. So they've now integrated the internet into the computer and they've basically cut down some steps. So it's just making it a little bit easier and a little bit quicker to get to the stuff that we need uh, and to kind of do our daily you know, task or whatever. So totally love that. That's gonna be our third reason. Now here's the fourth reason. Awesome, awesome multitasking. And this is actually two rolled into one. So the first thing is that you now have what are called multiple desktops. So right at the bottom here, if you click on this little button, this actually takes you to um, this pulled out view. It shows you all the windows you have open on the computer. And I have two monitors, as you can see. And uh, it allows you to have multiple desktops. So I can have certain programs open on one and other programs on the other. For example, on my second desktop, which is right here, I have work stuff. So I have my Photoshop, I have the internet, and guess what, I can leave that open and I can come down here and click on, again, our little, um, our task view is what it's called. And I can jump back to the first desktop where I have other things open. I have a whole nother set of tabs and programs open. And so the cool thing about this is you never have to close out the stuff that you're working on. Just create a new desktop. So if I go back down there, I'm gonna click it again. I can make a third desktop. So right over here to the right, is the new desktop button, it's a little hard to see, but we click here, and now I can have a third desktop, and I can have maybe Excel, I could have like my budget, I could have, you know, my banking websites, I can have this a whole separate set of things right there to work on, and I never have to close it. All I have to do is switch the desktop. Now this is a feature that, you fu that uh, has been on Macs for a little while, and we finally got it on Windows, and I'm so friggin' excited about it, because it just really allows you to just work 
to have a lot of things open at once and not feel bad about it. it like your screen isn't cluttered, you literally just get to kind of move things around or jump to what you want to work on at the time. So that's uh, reason four. Now reason five, uh, oh my God, you guys are gonna love this so much. So this is also multitasking, but this is being able to have multiple uh, windows open at one time on the same screen. So up until now, we've been able to do like two at once. Let me give you an example. Like I can have over here, so this is just a, um, let's open it up big. This is like Google search right here, right? So I can grab this whole window. So you go to the top here, you're gonna click, keep your finger on it, and I'm gonna drag it to the left, and that snaps it to the left side of the screen. But if you notice on the right, what just came up these are a bunch of other programs that i have open here so other tabs other browsers whatever so let's say i click on xbox and now it automatically snaps it so left google right this now this is the way it's all it's always been we've been able to do two things at once well check this out i can actually do four things at once on the same screen now and i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to open up microsoft word Let's say you're working on a paper or a report or a document, whatever. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it to the bottom left corner. And to make this work, bring it all the way to the edge, to the corner, and watch this. It actually snaps it right at the bottom perfectly so you don't have to do any special adjusting. I'm going to come back up here and click Google and check this out. Now I have Google search at the top and I have Microsoft Word at the bottom. Imagine being able to type a document and have multiple web pages open and do research all at the same time. This is freaking incredible. So look, I'm gonna open up a new tab just up here and I'm gonna drag that tab down to the bottom here and oh my gosh, look at that. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to make it realistic because nobody's using this game DVR thing. I'm going to take this, drag this up here, and look at this. Imagine having four different Google search windows, or three, and being able to type your paper here at the bottom. Or another way that people may do it is, hey, I'm going to take Word, and I'm just going to have Word on the left side of my screen, and on the right side, I'm going to have the things that I'm researching. So you basically have the option to configure it how you want. You can do one, two, three, or four windows on the same screen. And check this out. I have a second monitor, which means I can do eight different things at one time. Now that, like kind of on steroids right there, a little much. But the important thing is this feature is so amazing because it literally allows us to just to do more at the same time and just really maximize our screen. So th these were the, the five reasons why you need to get Windows 10. Windows 10 is amazing and you guys, I've, I've still only scratched the surface. It does so much more than this, but these are what I found to be like the top features that it does. So uh, if you have a Windows 8 computer, the update is free and if not, if you got an older like Windows 7 or XP, it's time to upgrade. This is the update we've been waiting for that really uh, keeps the computer simple but has added so many great features. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. Do me a favor, if you like this video, tell somebody about it, share it on your Facebooks, tweet it, whatever. Uh, get the word out, Windows 10 is awesome and you need it, all right? I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, like, favorite, and share the video. Subscribe to HD Tech videos and have a good one.